watching the CBS 42 News at Noon. Well, this weekend, CBS 42 is proud to sponsor with the Autism Society of Alabama for the Funky Fun Run. Yes. We've got Lauren Reed joining us here now, to, and, and a, a mascot as sure. well, <laughs> to tell us a little bit more about this event. Sure. So this event was previously called the Walk for Autism. Mm -hmm. um, we wanted to revamp it and give it a new name and encourage um, participants to dress up and be funky and have a good time with their teams and stuff while they're out raising awareness for autism. Yes, yeah, so tell me a little bit about the fun run itself. It's funky this year, so you are encouraging yeah. people to, to come uh, look in their best, I guess. Bring their tie-dye. Um, actually, you can dress in any re your favorite retro year that you choose. I know I'm representing um, a team for that's coming out, the Noah's Wingman. They're mm -hmm. great supporters. Um, they're actually in the contention for um, a trophy that we hand out, which is top fundraiser in most team spirit. Um, but the 5K starts at 8 a.m., mm -hmm. um, and then walkers will start arriving around 8, 30, 9 o'clock to check in and kind of get some team pictures. Um, and then uh, we'll do our announcements, and the walk will start at 9.30. So it's just a fun-filled day. We'll have activities for the kids um, and that type thing. And there are actually other runs a lot like this that are going on, and not just here. Tell me a little bit about that with thousands of people sure. participating. So there are um, 15 locations across the state, this weekend being five different locations um, all across the state, and they can find information about those runs at funkyfunrun.com. Um, but yeah, they, we host them every Saturday in April, um, and we actually have one on May 5th, too. So we've grown so much. There's about 2,500 participants statewide for this event. That's awesome. And tell me just a little bit about how this event helps, how it gives back. Sure. So um, we use the funds raised at this event to host first responder trainings to um, educate businesses how to be autism-friendly in the community. Um, and we're also down at the State House working for um, state and different funds, um, insurance and that type thing to make sure that families are covered. Awesome. Sounds great. I want to thank both of you so much for being here today. We are going to have all that information that you just gave us on our website and on our CBS 42 <coughs> News app. Keep it right here. The CBS 42 News at noon continues in just a moment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.